My name's Tim. So I have incomplete quadriplegia. I'm technically a C5-6 incomplete quad. But I walk, I drive with my left foot. I'd broken my neck in a horrible way while overseas on a student exchange program. I spent most of 1998 in hospitals and then met Nick on a dance floor. He kind of changed my life, just a little bit. He's teaching me and I'm learning to allow room for disability to be a part of my life and, and not try to run from it and deny it. But also don't completely indulge in it. That bit I was telling you about. Yeah. I've been doing lots of angels of people. Right. Yeah. I'm interested in how this body even wow. keeps working. Yeah. I'm yeah. Really surprised. Yeah. It's worked well for nearly 60 years. I developed this different body, which I didn't like as it twisted, which is mostly the scoliosis, because what it did to me, the way it made me walk, the way it made me look. What have you done to your right shoulder? It's called neuropathic. There's no ball jump on it at all. Yeah. This is the bone, a bit coming out, and that's broken down. It's because I can't feel half my body, I couldn't feel it breaking down, so there's no pain okay. in so what has that left you with now with your right torso and right shoulder? Limited movement. Yeah. I mean, it's a slow, gradual thing, so it's the movement I've got now. When did you start dancing? I've been to see this dance company, and I was walking on crutches then, one crutch. Probably about similar the way you walk now. I left there in tears just watching. At the time, I was having trouble moving from walking sticks so not accepting where my body was going. And the next step I needed to take was probably a wheelchair. And these people were moving in wheelchairs, incredibly so. I thought, I want to do that. I looked at a group that I could dance and perform with and would accept me, a mixed ability performance group, and found the company Chaos. Got right into it, I really enjoyed it. They expressed anger and sexuality and things that people with disabilities are not always... Some people see you not able, capable of having those feelings. First strong memory I have of him is he and this guy Heath, it was like they were doing a pirouette together. They locked arms and Heath started swinging him and rolling him around and it became more and more vigorous until he lifted him out of the chair. First time I could spin really fast, the company chaos. I realised it gave me a whole new level of freedom. And I love it. You should definitely give it a go one day. Yeah. It's just a mode of transport. The dance that he did was a wonderful way to show his physical capabilities. And as he's aged, I think his art and his sculpture is now his avenue to self-express. And it took me four years at art school to learn that what I do is art. I keep dropping scissors over there, but one day I met a great bit of art. Mm. <laughs> He's got a full workshop out the back that he's tinkering with things. He's making a mosaic over there. He's got a painting here. He's got a sculpture over there. It's a way of living that says we can live and create. I always find that invigorating. My ability to move and show passion Anybody with a disability, anybody in the world has experienced, with or without, is disability is irrelevant, but disability is also part of it. The way he's created his life is a living example of how you bring art into kind of everything you do. 